No, no, no picture. Take it down now. So this is a altar that we're building to the. I understand what you're doing. You, you, you know that you've been around here long enough. You know you can't do this. And well, the we you know see. This. I stand with Israel signs okay, all over I, the place. Okay, I listen. So. You want to take that up with the members of Congress? You can take that up with the members of Congress. That's why we cannot here. do this. You know this. How long have you been up here now? Uh, five months okay. while the no, genocide you've been doing, been going you've been, you've been, you can't put anything up, you can't desecrate anything, you can't put anything on that. Yeah, we feel like the bones we're dropping is what's desecrating the United States. This is a tribute okay, take your to down, all please. the people who are going to kill. You can take it up with the individual officers. But they don't, they you can, don't you respond. Can, they don't, they don't they answer They have websites, us. right? They don't respond. Okay, they have email, they have websites. They the respond. other thing that you can do is that you can contact, uh, you know, the Sergeant Arms office and stuff like that. But it's, it's not going to be permitted, okay? It's a very big day today, the State of the Union, it's not going to be permitted. Mrs. Pelosi is one of the worst, the worst. And she has not met with her constituents who have asked her over and over again. In fact, they're so desperate that they go to her house and sleep outside her house. She's not held a town hall meeting in over a decade. She doesn't talk to anybody who doesn't give her money and doesn't believe in her pro-Israel stance of things. So, you know, she is somebody who represents the worst of the worst here in Congress. And we were here to build an altar inside her office. People who came, flew from California because they can't get a meeting with her in her district office. And she locked her office and then called the police when we built an altar here. So Nancy Pelosi needs this eviction notice. And this eviction notice is telling her that the tenant charged with not calling for a ceasefire during a genocide in Gaza, conspiring to act as an agent of a foreign government, failing to support and defend the Constitution, also being guilty of insider trading, is therefore charged and must vacate the premises. So we tried to put this on her door but the police won't let us. Representative Pelosi, you have constituents waiting outside your door who traveled all the way here to talk to you. We want to ask you to stop funding a genocide in Gaza where thousands of children are being killed with our tax dollars that you keep voting for. Representative Pelosi, please open your door. I'm uh, full of grief that Nancy Pelosi one of the most powerful people in government continues to fund lethal weapons to kill children in Gaza with our tax dollars. It fills me with grief to think that my tax dollars are being used to buy Hellfire missiles, white phosphorus, F-35 fighter jets that are killing people who are in an open-air concentration camp in Gaza. And this is what Nancy Pelosi stands for. And we really cannot handle it. We, we say enough of that. Pelosi, you have to stop. Open your door. Open your door. Your constituents are standing outside your door. We have tried. We have written the scheduler for a meeting. We have uh, written the foreign policy person for a meeting. We have tried all the democratic paths to have a meeting. This is an act of desperation to sit in front of her office. People don't want to do this. They don't want to get arrested. They don't want to have to put this kind of display out to show what a despicable quote official Nancy Pelosi is. She's supposed to be representing San Francisco. San Francisco just passed ceasefire resolution and Pelosi still will not say ceasefire. We've gone to her house and she just tells us, she shakes her finger and went like this to me. I said, I'm your constituent. And she went, go back to China. <laughs> well, your headquarters. I came here from California. I'm disgusted that she won't open her door. What we're seeing every day is unfathomable. And I can't believe these people that are supposed to represent us can just turn a blind eye and turn away. Well, you can't meet with Nancy Pelosi. Her federal building office has been closed for about three years now. You can't actually even go inside the federal building where her office is. But, but should we be able to go inside the federal building office, we would deliver petitions with thousands of signatures of San Franciscans asking for her to call for a ceasefire. Take them around the corner. Who's that? Remember, you've been giving your warnings. 
So if you start protesting, you're going to get locked up. Free Palestine is a protest. I'm going to say that they not see me. I came all the way to Washington, D.C. to see Guys, my back in the hallway, please. There's no safe place like the children. Gaza. Free Palestine. Come on. Okay. Guys. Nice. Like Gaza did. You know what? You're